Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on adding motion to your designs, specifically a swiping effect. We're going to be using After Effects to animate and we're going to take the file from XD. So here in XD I have a nice friend request option and a second friend request on the side. This is the one that's going to be swiping over when the user swipes on the screen. And then I have a notification bar at the top. So to get this into After Effects, First off, I have a 1500 width by 2668 document. We're going to be using that to create our composition. So if I click new composition, 1500 by 2668. I am running 30 frames, but you can do 60 if you choose. And then I have 8 seconds, so we have plenty of room. And then the background color is just white. So select OK. Back in XD, we have to group the elements that we're going to be animating. So if you want to be animating text or anything in the future, you can't do this method. You're going to have to recreate the element. But for now, we're just going to create them as images. So I'm going to group the top bar, group it, and press Command E, and that will allow me to export it. And here I've named mine top bar, and it's the .png, and then you can export it. So you're going to do the same thing for each element. So I'm going to do that for my friend request, Command E, and export that out, and so on. So over in After Effects, we have to drag all three of these elements in just like that. And the reason we have to do this is After Effects and Adobe XD are not compatible at the moment. We cannot import them by just dragging the XD file in, which is a pain, but I hope they bring that in the future. I'm sure they will. It'll be extremely helpful. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is drag the top bar, which is our notification, up to the top. I'm going to zoom in, position that using my arrow keys, about right there is good. All right, so now I'm gonna grab both of my friend requests and I'm gonna bump them up to the top just like that. And over here, I have the align panel open and I'm gonna align that to the composition centered. So we have something like this. By the way, I'm using the default essentials workspace in After Effects, so if you don't have anything that looks like this, just reset it and there you go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to push the second request off to the side so then we can start animating. So I'm going to grab that, hold shift, and press the right arrow key just to push it over a bit, about right there. So that looks good. So let's start keyframing now. So you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I'm going to drag this up, and that way you can see my keyframes a little bit more. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is reorganize my layers. I'm going to drag the second friend request to the top, and then let's also just lock the navigation bar since we don't need that, or the notification bar, sorry. So on this, I'm going to click the down arrow and then click the down arrow again on transform. And this is going to expand everything that we can edit. After one second, I want this to start animating, so I'm going to go to one second. And you'll see over here that I'm not quite on one second, so let's go over one frame. And you can also zoom in really close to get exactly one second as well. So we're going to keyframe the position it's at now, and 15 frames later we want it to slide into the center. So I'm going to do so by clicking the little stopwatch next to position, and then I'm going to go ahead 15 frames, and I'm going to do this really easily by just clicking align, and then selecting this option here, which is, which is horizontal center alignment. And so now if we scroll through our animation, you'll see it just slides in really easily. So at the same time this is happening, we want our first friend request to slide off the screen. So let's expand that one. So just click the down arrow and on transform, do the same thing. I'm going to select my uh, stopwatch again for position. And then I'm going to go to 15 frames. And we're going to drag this over. Actually, let's do shift and the left arrow key. So hold shift, left arrow key to right there. Let's zoom in a bit. To position this properly, I'm going to use the arrow keys. I'm going to line it up exactly till it's touching, and then I'm going to bump it over a few times. Something like that. So I'm going to pan back and see exactly what that looks like. All right, I'm just trying to get the spacing here to match over on this side. So let's see what that looks like. It's a little off. I think it looks pretty good. 
I can't notice the difference. So, all right. So now if I zoom all the way out, by the way, I'm using this drop down, and this allows you to fit this to the size of this box, which is really cool. And you can also set it to like different percentages, like there's 100%. So just a tip. All right, so let's pan through this and see what this looks like. Perfect. All right, so now what we're going to be doing is using Easy Ease to make this look a little bit better so that it's not so structured. So I'm going to actually just grab all of the keyframes and go to Keyframe Assistant and Easy Ease. So to do that again, I'm clicking and dragging, grabbing both of them, right clicking on them, going to Keyframe, Easy Ease, or you can just press F9. So now it doesn't look much different. Same thing if I play it by going to Preview. You just see it slides over. We're going to go to the graph editor to add a little bit more to this. So the graph editor is accessible by clicking this button here. You'll see it turns blue, and we see this little arc. And that arc right there is easy ease. If we didn't apply the easy ease, it would just be a regular straight pink line. If I right click on this area here, you can see everything I have turned on if you want to have exactly what I have turned on. So there we go. All right, so I'm going to grab this layer. And I'm going to scroll up and hold Command and grab the second layer. So we are animating both of these at the same time. I'm going to click and drag to make sure that I grab all four points because there's two here and two here. And I'm just going to click and drag this out. And you'll see that it makes this nice little hill going on here. And what that's going to do is you can see the difference when I play this. It slides over a lot quicker and then slows down a lot longer. So that's all that's doing. So the higher you make this, the faster it's going to go. And the more it's over to the beginning, it's going to do that speed up at the beginning. And then at the end, it's going to taper off. All right. So that's really nice. You don't have to do that. But the graph editor, I recommend getting to know because it makes the animations look a lot cleaner and a lot cooler. So let's play that one more time. There we go. So we are going to be animating this in reverse. So we're going to do that now. And then after that, we're going to add in the little finger circle which is the user touching the phone. Okay, so if you're confused about Easy Ease in the graph editor or you just wanted to learn more about it, I'm gonna explain it really quickly and then we're gonna move on. All right, so if I hold Command and I remove the Easy Ease by clicking on the keyframe, you'll see that it turns back into its original diamond. And then obviously we can right click, go to keyframe and then apply it back. But if I go to the graph editor now without the keyframes being Easy Ease, you'll see that's just a straight line. Okay, so I'm gonna select both of them and then go down here and click this, which is the same thing as clicking uh, Easy Ease the other way. And so now you'll see we have this hill. All right, so what this is doing is think of it as throwing a baseball. When the baseball leaves your hand, it's going to start off slow. It's going to build up speed over time. When it reaches its maximum speed, then it's going to start slowing back down. That's all Easy Ease is doing. It's making this more realistic because nothing in nature is starts at the same speed it's going to end at, and it's just the same speed consistently. It makes no sense. So this looks more natural. And you'll see that it slowly builds up high speed here, and then it slows back down. So what we're doing by dragging this point right here over is at the beginning, we're making it speed up really quickly, and then it's going to taper off at the end really slowly. So that's all Easy Ease, and the graph editor is allowing you to do is to edit that timing and make it look a lot better. All right, so let's get back into the tutorial. All right, so now we want the user to swipe back to the first friend request. So I'm going to leave a second in between uh, swiping back. So I'm going to go ahead to 2 minutes and 15 seconds. And then I'm going to grab these two keyframes. I'm going to copy them and paste them here. So do the same thing, Command-C, Command-V. I'm going to right-click Keyframe Assistant, Time Reverse Keyframes, which is going to reverse these keyframes. And now we have to go to the Graph Editor because now you'll see that the hill is pointing the wrong direction. So to fix that, I'm going to make sure I have both layers selected because if you don't, it's going to look weird. I'm going to grab both of these points. So I'm going to click and drag to select everything. I'm going to put them back to their original state the best I can. I'm just going to eyeball it. And then I'm going to drag this to match the other point. And there we go. All right, so now if we play this, see it swipes over and then it swipes back after a second. That looks good, so I'm going to save that. And now all we have to do is add in the user interaction, which we're going to do with a circle. All right, so I'm going to grab the ellipse tool, select that from the drop-down menu, and I'm going to hold Shift and drag out a circle. And then I'm going to go to Transform and set that to 80% opacity. Make sure I grab my selection tool back. 
And let's drag this somewhere right about there would be good. And so what we're going to do is at the start of the animation, we're going to keyframe the position. And we are going to be adjusting the opacity, but later. Okay, so about 10 frames in, I'm going to drag the position of the circle over to the left. Something like that. To do that, I'm just uh, clicking and holding and dragging. And so we have something like this. Then over here at the start of the swipe back, we're going to copy these two frames, Command C and Command V, right click, time reverse keyframes. So now we have the swipe over and the swipe back. So now we need to play with the opacity so this doesn't show up 24 seven. And the reason I saved that for last is because this is a bit hard uh, to kind of communicate through the camera. So at the start of the animation, I'm gonna go back a total of six frames. Over here in the preview menu, you can select the previous frame uh, button six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna set the stopwatch and I'm gonna set this to zero. So it starts off at zero percent opacity. I'm gonna go forward two frames and then I'm gonna set this back to 80%. And then I'm gonna go to the start of the animation and set a keyframe. Then at the end of the animation, or the swipe animation, I'm gonna set that to zero. So here's what that looks like. So what that's doing is it's, the user is like clicking and holding on the screen for just a slight second, so four frames, and then it slides over. I think that looks more natural than just having it appear and slide over. And that's just personal preference. If you don't wanna do this, that's fine. It's, it's up to you. So here's what that looks like. And so now all we have to do is do the same thing over here. Go over six frames at the start of the second animation. One, two, three, four, five, six. Set the keyframe at 0%. Go over two frames. One, two. Set that to 80. Now we go to the start of the second animation. Set another keyframe. And then over here at the end of the swipe effect, zero. So now we have something that looks like this. Swipes over and swipes back. All right, so I'm going to highlight all of these layer, uh, all these keyframes on the position layer. Right click, go to Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease. So I'm going to grab uh, the points here. I'm going to drag. Let's just do both at the same time if we can. Let's drag them over just a bit, and so we have a nice spike. Perfect. All right, so. That's going to do it for the tutorial, guys. That's how to add some motion into your designs with a swipe effect. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, guys. It's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.